Hello friends, this is Raj Sastri from Raj Option Trading. Today is April 27, 2022. Let's take a look at top stocks to avoid. These stocks have got heavy insider as well as institutional selling. We have to be very careful. One of the stock is All Birds. I know most of you know about this stock here. Stock has got heavy insider selling. So let's take a look here and see what stocks we can avoid. So with that, let's jump in here. Look from a market update perspective, we are in the fear zone right now. So we were a little bit below before. We are around 24 or 25 before, but now we increase slightly to the fear zone. But still, we are in the we are not over the woods yet because uh, there is Fed looming. There is still geopolitical tension, and there is inflation worries and also supply chain constraints. So with that, we can come down back to the fear zone. So we have to be careful here. <clears throat> with that, let's jump in and get started. Look from a market update perspective. We got few positive stories. We got Pinterest stock source after the after um, uh, after the market closed and looks like they got good uh, earnings and revenue beat. And Facebook also went higher looks like uh, it did very well but sales uh, hit its lowest and qualcomm also soared after the market so this also taking some breather here so if with that look from a market perspective uh, dow jones industrial average did very well in the beginning came down toward the end but still look we got we are up today which is a good news here and we're up to 61 points and Nasdaq, similar trend here, finally it went down. Look, Nasdaq is down today, just 1.81%, but not too much. S&P 500 eked a small gain here, but look toward the close, it's also weak here. But finally it gave, up, it gave a slight um, positive uh, close here. It's 8.76 uh, uh, up, that's good. From a futures perspective, look, futures are trying to be opening a little bit higher. Look, we got Dow Jones, S&P, as well as NASDAQ slightly higher. And NASDAQ is a little stronger with some of these tech earnings uh, doing well. So with that, uh, oil is trading down, as you can see here. And interest rates are trending higher, so we got to be a little bit careful there. So with that, let's jump in and look at the ETFs here. So ETFs will give you a very good picture of where the market is going and what might happen next. So with that, let's jump and look at the ETF. Look, we got a one day uh, chart here in one day. I think we, are, we had a mixed uh, picture here. Look, the beaten down technology stocks, they did very well. Look, we got XLK right here in the middle here. XLK did very well, up 1.5% today. And look, we got material sector XLB also went higher, 1.5% higher. And then we got your XME, which is a precious metal. Also, they did pretty okay today. And on the loser side, we got a bunch of losers here. Look, XLC came down mainly because Facebook, as many of you know, came tumbling down. But after the market, it went higher. And then we got a few more with the slightly lower here. Um, you can see a couple sectors here, including, uh, I think XLE went higher today. I think it's uh, doing pretty okay here. And one thing I always watch for is, you know, in these ETFs, keep watch on how one day, five day, 10 day, one month, six months, and one year, how they are doing. That'll give you a good idea what's going on here. Look, if something is, uh, you know, weak in a year time frame, and if you think it's uh, improving in a near term, then there is a positive vibe here. Look, we got a couple names here. One year uh, down, but uh, you know, in a one day time frame, it's going higher. You could take a look at such names here. They might do very well. So one more thing I closely watch is if you see here, we got uh, Bollinger Band 20 and the uh, SMA, Simple Moving Average. We got five day all the way to 200 day here. So if you see something very weak in a 200 day time frame, but it's improving in a 10 day and a five day time frame, you can uh, and even Bollinger Band 20 time frame, then it's uh, it's improving. So as an example, you could look at some names here. Look, we got uh, QQQ here. Keep watch on QQQ. Um, look, it's down 16% from 200 day moving average. 
and down 15 percent for 120 from 120 day moving average but it's slightly higher in, in bollinger band 20 that tells you near term there is uh, some positiveness with the qqq here even though qqq is sold off there is some hope here and same story as it comes to eem emerging market even though it's sold off big time it is slightly higher in the, higher in the bollinger band 20 uh, a little higher from lower band here <clears throat> on the other hand we got xle here xle is uh, doing pretty okay it's above its 200 day moving average and also above 120 day moving average but look what's going on here it's below it's uh, five day 10 day uh, 20 day moving average that tells you even though it did pretty well in the past it's uh, struggling in the near term so we got to be thinking you know a little carefully about these scenarios it may not uh, give you you know better investment from this point onwards and as you see here we got a few more things going on here look at the names which are doing very well in bollinger band 20 and also you can look at five day 10 day 20 day if something is improving in that time frame those are the good ones you can take a look at <clears throat> so as an example we got a few more here look we got one more right here tlt looks like bonds are slightly improving in near term so looks like bond is slightly recovering look it's a uh, above its Bollinger bomb band uh, here by 4% even though it's beaten down big time in 120 200 day in the longer term in the shorter term it's uh, showing some improvement and we got similar time frame in a uh, similar trend in XLI industrial even though it's beaten down it's showing some improvement it's uh, trying to go higher in the Bollinger band 20 it's higher by 0.37 percentage so that gives a good idea keep watch on near term here if you see some slight improvement near in the near term whereas in the long term it's completely clobbered you could take a look at those names it tells you they're trying to trend higher so you could you could just slowly buy those names here other good example here is xrt here retail retail got clobbered um uh, not retail actually next one here home builders home builders got clobbered but look in the in the bollinger band they're trying to go higher uh, than their 20 day bollinger band in in the lower band so that also is a good uh, recovery type play here all right now let's uh, do one thing let's uh, keep a uh, look at a few more names here and let's look at uh, market little more from a market perspective look we got uh, zigzag market here um, Dow Jones industrial average came tumbling down went higher came down now it's slightly higher in the you know in the futures market so we might have a slightly update tomorrow we'll keep a close watch look uh, s p 500 is retesting it's the low here and it's bouncing off of it i think it will uh, do well from here on but we have to be careful we are not out of the woods yet and nasdaq is a week here look it's uh, successfully retested its low and turned a bounce back at this time here and russell is also same story here it uh, retested the lows and turned a bounce offer from its lows here and you know with the uh, us dollar getting strengthened here um, gold is still slightly struggling as you can see here uh, it's uh, coming down off rate with the dollar strengthening got to keep a close watch on gold as it comes down it's okay to slowly buy some gold as a hedging position here crude oil after jumping high here look it went high 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 around 130 here now crude oil is trying to settle down around 100 100 dollars here so crude oil could be good one there's a lot of geopolitical tension it might retest the lows around 95 but i think we can slowly start buying crude oil as it comes down and look bonds are trying to go higher that will uh, make the interest rates come lower so we got to keep a watch on this uh, phenomenon here if uh, interest rates keep going higher then stocks will take a back seat all right now with that let's look at uh, stocks to avoid so these stocks as you can see here keep a watch on insider selling here insiders are selling big time as you can see here and institutions are also either selling or uh, doing nothing so that tells you it's not too much support from institutions also and as you scan through here we've got first one here gtes here gates industries just a 12 dollar stock look what's going on here heavy insiders selling insiders are selling 98 percent higher recently 
and institutions are also selling. That tells you there's a selling pressure at this time. That's why look what stock is doing. Stock is down one day, five day, one month, all the way to one year. This stock is down all along, as you can see here. And also as you scan through here, we got um, buyback. It look at, looks like companies are diluting their share count, which is good. And uh, they also have they have some debt, uh, $2.6 billion debt, and they're paying around 4.80% interest rate. Not too bad. But what's bad is, you know, ins insiders are selling heavily and institutions are also selling heavily. That's not a good news for the stock. That's why it's uh, coming down here. <clears throat> so as we scan through here, we got, uh, you know, we got uh, um, debt to equity ratio here. Not too bad here. Um, it's uh, slightly higher and they do have money to cover short term interest rate. But look, um, inside the selling and institution selling is not a good sign here. And then we got a few more here. Look, we got uh, Trinity next one here. Trinity also look heavy insider and institution selling, mainly heavy insider selling. And stock is also not doing great. Look, stock is down all the way from one day and all the way to six months here. And this one has got some good prospectors for next year EPS growth here. And looks like this company is also uh, buying back its stock. That's why buyback yield is pretty solid here. This, this uh, could be okay candidate, but right now look what's going on. It's a uh, heavy insider selling. That's why stock is taking a beating here. And then we got a few more here. We got LFG here. LFG also look heavy insider buying as well as heavy institution selling. And LFG, as you scan through here, uh, it's got uh, <clears throat> some debt, but uh, it's manageable, but heavy insider and institutional selling here. Then you got all birds here, look, same story, heavy, ins heavy insider selling here, and heavy institution selling also. And all birds, look, it's uh, paying 15% interest rate on its loan here. Uh, looks like loan is not too much, it's uh, almost uh, negligible, but high interest rate it's paying on its uh, on its debt. And then got a few more here. Uh, we'll uh, uh, not talk about all of them, but you know, keep a watch on high debtors also here. We got a few high debtors. Look, new old brands, household name, looks like they got a high debt load here, but they don't they don't pay too much interest rate on the debt, just 4.6%. So this also has got high insider and institution buying. And same story with you know Heinz. Hein also looks like you know there's a high insider and institution selling. You got to be careful with Hein also. And the list list continues here. You got uh, some of the <clears throat> famous companies like uh, uh, Spice here, Virgin Galactic. Look same story here. Insiders are selling heavily, and Virgin Galactic is also paying heavy interest rate on its uh, debt. Uh, debt is not too much, but it's a heavy interest rate as you can see there. And we got a few more here. Ping, many of you know Ping here. It's a identity uh, solution pro identity provider. Look, it's also it's also look heavy insider uh, selling here. You got to be careful with such names here. And we got a few more here. We got MP Material, same story, heavy insider selling. Um, and you know I would closely watch the folks with the high uh, interest rate payment. Also, as an example, we got C Dow. Look, CDAV, not CDAV, the one before that, um, uh, the one right here, uh, HYMC, looks like that's got a heavy, um, you know, heavy uh, interest rate payment. You got to be careful with such names here. And we got a few more. Keep a watch on the insider and institution selling. The moment you see heavy in both scenarios, like HYMC is a great example here. Look, both insiders and institutions are selling, and it also has a high interest rate uh, payment on its one, $161 million um, dollar, uh, debt. All right, so we got a few more with the high debtors. Look, AMC, insiders are selling big time. It also has a high debt, uh, $10 billion debt, not too much interest rate here. And then we got AGL here, same story here. AGL looks like got high interest rate here, 10.90. So I would watch this uh, carefully here. And list continues, we got a few more here. We'll not uh, talk through all of them. Keep a watch on insider institution selling here. Look, heavy, heavy insider institution selling. And keep, keep a watch on the total debt here. Many of them are heavy debtors. Uh, look, this one catches mind here, CVX Chevron. 
Chevron looks like uh, there's a heavy uh, total debt here, uh, $31 billion, but they're not too much paying too much interest. They locked a lower rate here. And then you got one more right here. I think it's, uh, it's Poshmark. Let's see here. Poshmark, yep. Look, Poshmark is also paying heavy interest rate here. And looks like Poshmark is uh, diluting its share count. That's why buyback yield is very high. And same story is Sentinel here. Sentinel is also diluting its share count. They're uh, polluting, diluting their share count. Uh, look, they're uh, uh, issuing more shares than they retire. And same story with the DEA here, uh, insider selling. And also look, uh, buyback yield is negative. That, negative. that tells you they're issuing more shares, which is not great. All right, so we got a few more. Look, uh, list continues here. Now we are talking about heavy institution selling. Look here, institution selling, and it's sorted by you know heavy institution selling as you can see here. So here we got institution selling big time, and insiders also, also are also not helping. They are also selling. So we got uh, Ramaco here, MATC. Look, institutions are selling big time, and look, uh, this company uh, is not. Uh, you know, in one year and five years, it's done great, but it's uh, you know in one day and ten days losing out here. So we got to you know keep a close watch on this one also. And then we got a few more here. Look, Clovis Oncology stock is done long time. Look what's going on here. Both insiders and institutions are selling. That's taking a beating on the stock here. Stock it down. It's trying to looks like it's trying to have a short short squeeze. But um, look, uh, buyback yield is negative. That tells you stock the company is diluting its share count big time. And we got a few more here. Look, we got Oscar. Oscar also both insiders and institutions selling. This company is diluting big time. Look at the buyback yield. They are they are basically diluting their share count big time here. And we got a few more here. Look, all these have got um, high institutions selling. We got Fastly. It's been done for a long time, as many of you know here. And this company is uh, really uh, institutions are selling big time here. And we got a few more. Logitech. It's been done for a long time. Look what's going on here. Institutions are selling. That's why stock is taking a beating. And keep a watch on the buyback yield here. If you see big negative number, that tells you these companies are polluting their share count here and diluting their, uh, you know, uh, diluting their shares. So I would be careful about those names here. We got Cooper Software. Cooper Software insiders are selling big time. Um, and uh, next one here, Editas. Editas looks like this company issues uh, more shares. That's why Editas has got a high negative buyback yield. Tells it's telling you they are diluting their share count at this time here. And we've got a few more here. Look, uh, we got uh, Palantir Technologies. Looks like Palantir Technologies uh, insiders are selling big time. That's taking some pressure. I mean, institutions selling. That's taking some pressure on the stock here. All right, so we got a few more going on here. Look, uh, here we got some insider selling going on. Uh, let's see here. I think we talked about, uh, yeah, there is some insider selling going on here. So I think we looked at this already. So with that, um, thank you very much. Happy investing and trading. As usual, keep a watch on insider and institution selling. Um, if you see big numbers, be a little more cautious. All right. Thank you very much.